An estimated 30,000 people in the U.S. live with dwarfism across the world. There are at least 651,700 small statured persons. Such term as little people, LP, persons of short stature, are better ways to refer to a little person rather than a dwarf. In Lagos, Nigeria, Plus TV Africa correspondent Mary Chinda in a special report describes the lives of little persons in Nigeria as full of discrimination, job inequality and emotional insecurities. Let's take a look at the report. Goal 10 of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals speaks largely about eliminating inequality amongst countries and peoples. The United Nations clearly recognizes that businesses can also exacerbate inequality by being complicit in perpetrating biases and discrimination. The question, however, is how exactly does this resonate with Nigeria? Lagos is the most populous city in Nigeria and has millions of persons. Among these are little persons also, often found in Osborne in Ikoi. They are trying to make a living as they grapple with inequality and discrimination because of their physical appearances. Wisdom Abba and his wife Joanne are one of the little persons who moved from other parts of the country into Lagos to make a living by getting employed despite their physical inadequacies. They say that in Lagos, they had hoped to win the battle against discrimination, but this fight, however, seems to be a lost one as they are constantly marginalized by some employers while hunting for jobs. Sometimes, Somebody will promise me at where I'm selling market. Because we drive car, we say we find work for me. I will pull up on that person. At last, the person will know, they will not find a job because promise me, promise me. Many of them. When I want to look for a job, they say, like, I'll give me a job that I'm too short. Then I should go. This couple is not the only little person seeking an end to discrimination in job hunting. Nkubi and Shapali are celebrity broadcasters. They too say that they have had a painful taste of societal rejection. I got called up for an interview. One of the management now walked up to me and told me that, look, I, I am sincerely very sorry. You are not the kind of person we are looking for. My sister, you know, growing up, she'd be like, Daddy, where do you get this thing from? Though Shapali comes across as a very confident woman, she says growing up was torturous. I'm talking to you, I don't know my mom so now. She ran away because I am a dwarf. She adds that her self-esteem was dealt a devastating blow for even thinking of marrying a tall man and begetting tall offspring as her mother-in-law rejected her. I had a relationship that um, the guy you know, took me home to the mom. And I was there in, the, in their living room, seated, and the guy went to call the mom. The mom came and I was like, ah, where? <laughs> Sorry, oh my dear. Sorry, where, where is the wife? My son said it brought. And I was like, it's me. And I said, Stop joking now. How will it be you? My son came up to call me like he brought somebody, you know? I was not accepted. Bash and Yatokwe are nine to five persons. They reveal that they have also been treated with inequality countless times. My own junior brother, the one that follows me, he also thought I'm kind of um, like a junior to him. We usually fight every day. I go one place. I say, I see, say, they say, then the five person will go sweep here. They say, not true. I say, I won't do it. Eh? You do it. Which hand do you want to sweep here? With only 12 years left to expunge inequality by 2030, only little is known if Nigeria will truly wipe out this menace. But Wisdom and his wife, Joanne, Unkubi, Shapali, Bash, and Iyatokwe continue to hope that someday they will be treated like every other human being. I am Mary Chinda for Plus TV Africa. And joining us in the studio is Plus TV Africa correspondent, Mary Chinda. Thank you, Mary, for joining us on the extended news this morning. Thank you so much. Now, let's happening. go this way. For those who missed your first outing on this documentary, you, you want to tell us um, about the condition and what causes this? 
Hmm. Dwarfism, better put, little people yeah. or little statured people, you know, who we call dwarfs, are, uh, uh, I would want to say average height people, but they are people who are little in size. Okay. Um, anybody can have a dwarf or a little person as a child. It, it's it's um, safe to say that normal people, average height, two average height parents can actually have a, a small person or a dwarf. Um, basically, dwarfism is caused, the condition is caused by uh, mutations in either the sperm cells of the father or the eggs of the mother due, before conception happens. Other times it could be some genetic changes that could cause it and all of that. Um, it, it's also very possible, like I said, for two little people, dwarfs, you know, to have normal, normal children. Yes. In, the, in the report that you just watched, the, the man by the road, you know, and his wife, who were my primary, uh, primary target for the report, actually have normal-sized children. You know, they also, the man had parents who were normal, normal um, um, parents who yeah. were tall, and then probably because of, the, um, of, because of the mutations in the sperm cell of the father or the egg of the mother, he came out as a little person. Now, now in Nigeria, do, do we have an idea of the number of people who suffer from this condition? Is there statistics of... of... Um, well, generally in the world, statistics put it at, um, as at a few years ago, over 651,000 persons in the world. Yes, having this condition in the US over 30,000. There is no um, recorded number that I know or that Nigeria has statistics to show that, okay, these are the number of little persons. We have such a problem in this country. Who is even putting the statistics together, you know, of little people in this country? Who even cares about them? Who is showing them, you know, uh, concern? I hear, after, in the course of doing this report, I, I got to understand that in Lagos State, maybe because Lagos is, 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 is where it is in the map of Nigeria, in Lagos State, they have an association. A few of them have an association. But then the truth is all over the country I doubt that there is a statistics because in the course of doing this report I had to go look out for okay do we have a statistics of little persons in this country what is the government doing about little persons in this country and as at the time I did that report the information was very very scanty now, now that you've, you've come to that I was just going to ask I mean what are the needs of these people and um, in this condition and what do you think the the government um, in terms of support from society and government, what kind of support do they Would get they, from the society it, and the government? It, it's, it's so sad, Benny, I have to say that the greatest challenge that these lead to people face is emotional insecurity. It stems from the inside. It's emotional insecurity. The fact that they are not accepted in society. Discrimination? The fact that... Yes, discrimination. Yeah. From the, 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 the discrimination leads to 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 strongly build emotional insecurity. If you look at the Unkubi and Shapali, in fact, Shapali told a very sad story of how she had gone. She was engaged to a guy. The guy took her to 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 the supposed mother-in-law's house, and the mother-in-law is like, um, my my wife, my my son told me that um, there's a there's a woman he brought, and she says, I am the woman, and the woman says to her. Sorry, I mean, I'm looking for a human being. I'm looking for somebody. You know, she's not. She was not being regarded yes. as a human being. Why? Because she is a little person, or she's a dwarf. She didn't create herself in that way. And the truth is, I have hardly, in all my five years in journalism, I've hardly seen a more confident Algeria. woman and than Shapali. I have hardly seen a more confident woman than the, the the little woman that you just saw on that clip. So one of the one of the the needs is acceptance, is equality. One of the greatest challenges that little people face in this country is the fact that there is job inequality. Quality. So yeah. a normal person or a normal sized person, right? By the way, let me say that. Uh, 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 Which is or, part of the discrimination that they face in society, isn't it? Yes. Now, you, you did you did a, a fantastic job in, in revealing and, and, and enlightening um, and lighting the challenges um, that little people do go through now. Yeah. By virtue of this documentary, what, what was your aim when you set out to 
for, to this, for this documentary, and would you say you've realized it? Yes, I, I think I have, because it's, it's been a, a bit since I did this documentary, okay. and people are more aware. People have been able to reach out. A few persons have called me to say, please, the guys at um, Osborne, the little people at Osborne in, in Ikoyi, how can we reach out to them? How can we support them? And every time they reach out to me, I try to I, I ensure that these people get to you know meet these little people, because the truth is, they need economic empowerment. They need they need employment, they need jobs. They are, they, some, a lot of them want to work, but no one wants to hire them. While a, while a normal person is, is about um, five feet tall, a dwarf or a little person is about four feet tall. But many a time, it doesn't in any way uh, uh, um, mean that they cannot do what normal people do. They, I mean, they can have children normally, they can walk normally, they can, they can do things that every other normal person can do, including being intelligent. You know, so that that's 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 what okay. it is about the life. Now, Mary, before I let you before I let you go this morning now, since I haven't yeah. done the documentary, if you were to revisit the story again, mm. <laughs> she smiles, all right. What more would you want the people I would to, make to be aware of about um, those little people and their challenges? I, I would make it a, a, about a 25 minutes documentary. I would do more expose on the medical background, just like I told you, the causes okay. of dwarfism. I would also uh, look into the normal lives, how, how they relate with their children. The children of these people are not in this documentary. How they relate with their children, how they fall in love, I will most likely do how they fall in love, okay. you know, and how they get to, you know, uh, go through their everyday in society. Plus, TV Africa correspondent Mary Chinda, thank you very much for joining. Thank us on the extended so news. Much,